when you're gonna yank something out by the roots, you can see the, see the chain we got around the bottom of this thing? And this is the normal way that chains get hooked up. But it's, you notice it's kind of loose. And the problem with a loose chain is, once it, uh, once it starts tipping and coming loose, well, it likes to slide up and off the top, and then you just end up with a shredded tree. So we're gonna make a slight adjustment here. Loosen up this chain a little. I'm gonna pull it off here. Let's get a little extra chain going around this tree. You see, and what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get it around the tree once so it's like a cinch around the tree. It, it'll, it'll get tighter the harder we pull. And that'll work good. All right, so there we go. Got the chain, it comes down here, wraps all the way around the tree one time and back up here and hooks onto the chain again. So when we yank on this thing, it'll just get tighter and tighter on that. And it'll rip this sucker out by the roots. Now you might think this is a pretty nice bush and you'd be right. So why am I not transplanting it? Well, let's take a look outside. In an effort to be safe, I called ahead and had them come out and mark where all the wires go. And you look at where all these wires go. See, the red is electrical and it goes right under that bush. And that yellow or orange or whatever color you want to call that stuff that's not red. That goes right along here and goes under that big rock, right under that tree. And if I get in here with the track hoe and start trying to dig these bushes up in a way that they could be transplanted, well, I could ruin my whole day. I could hit the electric wire and short it out. Melt the bucket in half, that'd be a bad thing. So in the name of safety, we're gonna have some good old redneck fun. So let's do it. KeeperTheMountain.com